I wanted to make this video because I do a lot of camping in a travel trailer and I find that I need a lot of tools when I go out on the road. So I thought I would go through the ultimate toolkit for about anything that goes wrong in your travel trailer. So I'll just kind of scan through this. The rivet gun comes in really handy to work on any siding issues or any type of um, problems you have going down the road. I've had to use that a few times. Of course, a bit set and a screwdriver and a gun, electric drill, um, of course, 3M tape, flashlight, a Leatherman, these little ratcheting ratchets are our grips. I don't know the real name, vice grip really isn't what it is. These are actual vice grips, I use these a lot. Some Proflex RV caulking. I should have a caulking gun in here, I don't have that. Um, a couple types of pliers, and then I call this my plumbing section. Uh, a PEX plumbing cutter. Most travel trailers use PEX plumbing and a crimper and extra PEX fittings, along with some short lengths of PEX. I've had to do quite a few little plumbing fixes. I even make up some quick fixes and put them in my box so that this goes up underneath the sink. I've had a couple of these fail on me, start leaking. Of course, a little hammer and a knife. And these are great little screwdrivers if you're looking for a screwdriver. They're like a 12 in one screwdriver. Great little screwdrivers. Electrical. These are great for figuring out when there's an electrical problem. Fault tester. Little heat if you need to do a shrink wrap. Wire strippers. These, of course, everybody knows how good these are. Extra fuses. Plenty of tape and oil. Little hammer. Service your water heater. Most of the time it's a 1 1 16th socket you'll need and then a bunch of sockets. I find that this covers about everything you need. Haven't run into too many other things that I've needed, but one thing you can guarantee when you're out on the road is that stuff will go wrong. These travel trailers really aren't built to do a lot of road traveling. I've had to do a lot of hardening things to it to make sure that it works for the road. They just don't cover their wires and make the trailer able to handle going down the road. Last time I went down the road, this whole siding ripped off here and I had they only had one bracket holding on this whole bottom edge. So I had to go on and re-rivet it, put new rivets in and build a support structure for, because they only had one bracket. So I had to go in and rebuild other brackets. I, uh, going down the South Dakota highway at 70 mile an hour with 30 mile crosswinds, it just ripped right off. 